California gold rush was a time when hundreds of thousands of people came rushing to California to find gold. Some people made a large profit from the gold rush, but most didn't. People found the gold by panning or hydraulic mining, even though the hydraulic mining hurt the environment. In 1848, the gold rush started at Sutter's Mill near Coma. James W. Marshall, a foreman working for the Sacramento pioneer John Sutter, found pieces of shiny metal in the tail race of the mill. The word got out, and the first people to get to the Northern California gold fields and the Sierra Nevada gold fields were called the 49ers. Most of the 40... As I was saying, most of the 49ers were locals because the word of the gold rush spread, spread slowly at first. But by the end of 1848, some 6,000 people from Hawaii, Chile, Peru, and the Oregon Territory had come to the gold fields. Only a very small portion of these people came from the United States in 1848. The next year, however, the news had spread all over the world. Around 90,000 gold seekers and merchants came to California. Around 60,000 were Americans. At the beginning of the gold rush, the miners could just pan for gold because the riverbeds were so abundant with gold. But some of the more sophisticated miners would build gold cradles, which would speed up the process. The cradles worked by being rocked back and forth with water washing the finer material through the bottom of the hopper while the gold collects on the ridges of the hopper. By the end of 1852, um, almost $7.2 billion worth of gold had been found. By the end of 1853, gold was getting harder to find. Hydraulic mining was beginning to be used on ancient gold-bearing gravel beds, which were on the hillsides and bluffs of gold fields. Hydraulic mining works by directing a high-pressure hose at gold-bearing gravel beds to wash it into the sluices. Sluices are channels made out of wood so the miners can find the gold being washed through. From 1852 through 1885, about $6.6 .6 billion worth of gold was found by hydraulic mining. A byproduct of hydraulic mining was that large amounts of silt and gravel, in addition to heavy metals and other pollutants, went into streams and rivers. Many areas still bear the scars of hydraulic mining because the downstream gravel deposits are unable to support plant life. The gold rush was also a time of great expansion because over the course of about two years, 96,000 people came to California, compared to the 15,000 that there were before. This soon led to California becoming the 31st state on September 9, 1850. The gold rush also led to the first transcontinental railroad. In 1863, the groundbreaking ceremony was held in Sacramento. It was completed six years later, financed in part by the gold rush money. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation of Lego History, California Gold Rush. If you would like a copy of this, please email Stephen Yingling at the email below. Thank you, and have a good night.